Hello everybody, let's write some BWP wallpaper managers, uh, but before we do so, I want to respond to some comments and feedback here. Really appreciate all the feedback, really cool that uh, so many are participating here now in the discussion, great. Um, C6, love the new wallpaper channel, yes, welcome to the new wallpaper channel, it's great, thank you. Uh, Daniel Andersson, sluta aldrig clickbaita dina titles. Okej, okay. det är lugnt. Det är, jag kommer fortsätta med det. Um, and then I thought these two, uh, Avocado and Emmanuel Torre here. Uh, we take them the last. Uh, Scream asks uh, what color scheme uh, I use in, in the, these latest videos. I explained that I borrowed quotation mark the colors from from some theme uh, I think I have it here actually yeah this is the theme reactionary pine it's a, like a GTK theme created by created by um, this Zinjanthropos and what I do I, I just find some some cool colors like this and then I bring up my G color 2 program and then I borrow the colors like this borrowed and then I can say the color joint C1 and there I got that and then I continue to do so till I have borrowed all the colors uh, and then I create a theme and that theme uh, I created a, a, a paste bin here for it it's a it's a mondo theme file so here are the colors if anyone is interested in that um, but I also explain that I don't uh, share my, or I don't really explain, I just <laughs> say that I, my dot files are not public because of reasons and I don't really feel like explaining that too much. But maybe uh, soon, maybe maybe later I will uh, at least make my, my Mondo themes public. More, f I, I have a bunch of these files with just colors basically. Gavin Wales also, uh, or or he's almost dying because of the clickbaits, uh, but I'm sorry, they will keep on getting clickbait, that I think, because I think it's funny. I don't think I I, I this I actually lose subscribers. My my views are higher, but I lose subscribers. I think a lot of people feel feel like betrayed when they open. Oh, first rise wallpaper, and then it's like. Oh, here's a bash of a weird orc and then unsubscribe, whatever. Um, then uh, Good Shock here is liking my opening song on um, All My Windows Float song. And yes, it's a very good song. Uh, thank you. Um, Peter Andreescu, this is a good comment, uh, asks if I have uploaded BWP to GitHub yet, and I haven't. I thought we wait a little bit. Maybe, maybe in the, uh, after the next video, I will upload uh, a, a version because uh, we have changed so much uh, uh, during the videos. It will just get weird to have different versions of it uh, up and, and stuff. So, but soon I will. And then some comment on an old video here about my web page that is currently archived. And Tech Studio asks if he can install i3 desktop environment over XFCE on this image magic uh, video. And my reply to that is yes. Okay, let's take uh, Emanuele's and Avocado's uh, input here, which is more advanced in a way. Or this one, XBanish. I don't know if everyone knows what XBanish is, but it's a program I have been using a long time. That uh, as soon as I press a key on my keyboard, my mouse pointer disappears. It hides the mouse pointer as soon as you press a key, and as soon as you move the mouse, you can see the mouse po pointer again. That's also one of the reasons why I have this stupid orange mou mouse pointer because I instantly find it. If 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 this mouse pointer would be white and appear here, I. I whatever but this x uh, program it is like um, sometimes you know in the videos I've seen this I I, 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 I some window is active like sublime here and then I want to type something I activate the terminal and that start writing something like this you know and then the mouse pointer is covering the whole command it's really annoying but I don't see this when I'm recording because my mouse pointer pointer is hidden because of x banish. Um, 
so yes, I use X Banish, but I actually added it here now to my um, uh, cast toggling uh, function script here. So it will uh, start and restart and and stop X Banish when when I toggle the recording. So now it isn't active. Now I see the mouse pointer all the time. So hopefully we, we I, I will not cover uh, do these things too much. But I still do it, and that's why I use uh, X Banish because often you do something like this, you know, activate the terminal, then start writing, and then oh, this is annoying. The mouse pointer is in the way, and then you have to move the mouse, and that you know, it adds up. It takes time. Okay. And last, uh, this very, very good. Uh, I think it was Avocado first noticed that uh, uh, in, in this uh, BWP script we have this random function to get the random wallpaper here, uh, which we did in the last video, where I do this while, while loop, forever while loop till we find a unique uh, wallpaper and then break out of the loop. But uh, if we use Avocado's ID here uh, with a grep, then, then we can get rid of the loop because you can use grep with the V option to to um, remove lines uh, from from uh, yeah from 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 the uh, input here, and that means we can remove the current wallpaper from from the list, and then it will never choose the the current wallpaper if it's not in the list. So that's good, uh, but. Uh, there is, um, we cannot just write it like this, or we can, but it, then uh, this is a regular expression, you know, RE here, that's a regular expression. And that means um, uh, we might get more matches than we ask for, but, but we can just add the carrot and the dollar to, to make sure that it will be an exact match uh, uh, when we grab here. I also investigated a bit and found that uh, there is an option to ls itself that have this ignore flag, which does the same thing as grep v here, or almost. And that means we can we can use that instead of grep here, but we still get rid of the while loop. Uh, then Emanuele have investigated this further uh, and uh, found that uh, there are edge cases, for example, Let's just implement this, but but there are an edge case here. If we only have one image in the library, and that is the current image, then it will ignore that from the list, and it will return an empty string when we get random here. Uh, and that's that's not good because uh, if we don't have have a if we have an empty string and pass that to to some programs, we get weird results, especially. Uh, when we are creating the sim link and stuff and have a blank uh, value, we, we, you, you can get really unexpected results. We have to take care of these edge cases and it's, it's kind of important to, to be this thorough here uh, with this uh, program. Okay, let's see. Let's take this first then, the random here. We could go to the uh, wallpaper directory here. TMP BWP walls there and it prints the LS automatically for us. So let's say the, the current wall is Lagunen. It is actually not. But let's say it is. Uh, then we should be able to do LS with the grep. It would be grep carrot Lagunen dollar there and now it will print that ls without ah I have to have the v option now it only printed that so so v is like an inverted grep you can think of it as now we can see we get the same list but without uh, uh, lagunen here but there are edge cases or edge cases but but it is a regular expression so so if we would search for a word here that appears on on several places I think we might do we can do it if we search for pineapple. Now we don't have a, a wallpaper name that, but we have two two entries here with that word, and both will get matched. But this wouldn't happen if we use this carrot and dollar. But we can get almost the same uh, um, 
or this is almost be better because this is always an exact match. You can write it like this, like you, um, and it will also remove that from the output. Sure, you can see here it prints uh, a li uh, each on each line, and here it's a normal ls, but whatever. And it's more or less the same execution time. I tested this a bit. It, it, it's no difference, at least on, on this uh, small library. Maybe it's, it, it makes a difference when you have more files. You don't, don't have to do that many regular expressions, I think. Whatever. Okay, uh, so let's add this. Uh, let's ignore to this place. Um, Or we can do it after the random here and, and store it in a variable anyways. Um, maybe we can do this instead. Sorry, I haven't prepared this 100%, but whatever. So we use ignore. It can also be written with a dash capital I, but I really recommend try to use long options um, in scripts at least. Kurnam is the name of the current wallpaper, right? I need a quote there. Now we get this long line that I don't like that much, so let's do something like this. And this. Could even maybe do... Ah, this is fine. Okay, but here we would get, we, we can actually get uh, uh, an empty, an empty um, variable here if there is only one wallpaper. Uh, and if it is, then that is probably also the current wallpaper, then we could pass the current wallpaper here. that right um, but then we have the problem it, well it is not the, the it will always work now at least if we have a current wallpaper also but we should yeah or, or you know this could get weird if we only have one wallpaper in the library but we don't have any current wall set then we still get a, a strange result here so maybe it's better to, to not to return an empty and also we shouldn't echo this. Let's echo RMD here. And then we test when we set the wall. We could do uh, two tests here when we got the target. We can test uh, if name is blank it doesn't contain anything which it will do in that case or for some reason uh, the file trg doesn't exist then uh, then we exit out how should we write this now maybe can write it like this. search wallpaper so here it will exit if, if, if it doesn't exist I know this this is also it, it's ugly but we are working with bash sometimes it gets nasty you know could also make some if thing maybe that's more beautiful but whatever yeah maybe we should do it if then else 
this and then it will never uh, create a weird zoom link and stuff and, and yeah th this uh, this should make it more bulletproof let's see if it works let's uh, try to change wallpaper here wallpaper random wallpaper random wallpaper random looks like it's working yes okay so what i really wanted to do in this video was starting to adding these navigation uh, functions to to go back and forward in the history uh, so we start by adding those options and those uh, you can add those to all of the main actions here so previous or next or random like this and then we need to add this previous next options here so now we can use this uh, now they are part of the O array if you set them from the command line <coughs> and we look for these uh, when we get the wall what what wall to return here just like with the if the R flag is set uh, next and previous can, can be tested here so let's start with with the previous if O P is equal to one then get previous wall then we create that file or function get previous wall dot sh and create a shebang declare the function there okay so get previous wall what which is the previous wall uh, the previous wall is the next wall in the history file so right now the previous wall was Sommarbrygga uh, but if Sommarbrygga is the current wall then the previous wall was pineapple and the next wall would be Bestorg here, here. <clears throat> so we will write the script here let's let's do this just so we have a reference here get out this history here in the terminal and we go to previous wall here um, and then we write some some awk uh, function here I think or awk script and we created a global variable with a path the history file if I'm not mistaken yes here history so get previous so here we create an awk loop that we loop through the history we also send here before anything else um, the cur the name of the current wall which we also stored in this global variable called kernan to this awk script and you can see now these annoying errors we get from from shell check here because we are uh, uh, sourcing this file and stuff sure we could do this default variables and stuff but we can also just disable shell check by setting this file to a POSIX uh, 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 shell script by removing the shebang it doesn't matter it will work when you source the files the shebangs doesn't have any meaning at all um, okay so we want to print the next the line after uh, the line matching current so first we should probably uh, find that match we can write that with dollar zero is equal to current because current is a variable now available for us here in in this awk if we find that then we can um, just create a variable found it is equal to one um, and 
but then we want to print the next line after found it. And that's why I like to do it like this. Uh, before we, we test the current line, we, we test for found it. Is found, if found it is equal to 1, then we can store the current line in a variable that we can call found is equal to dollar zero. And then we don't need to do any more searching when we have found it. So we can also exit walk here. And then we create an end block. Or we can print found. Like this. Um, so let's see if this works. I don't think it will work exactly as we want it to, but BWP change wallpaper previous. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get wall syntax error near unexpected token. Okay, okay, we got something weird going on here. Ah, okay, okay, you cannot write this. And here I have shell check disabled. It, it, it would have warned me here what, what I was writing. We had two ifs after each other. That's not uh, good. But here it's good. It's also exited out now in our uh, set wall. Uh, no such wallpaper. I never did the sim links try to change to a wallpaper that didn't exist and stuff. That's, that's good. This is something we should have added from the start because we really don't want to, to, to do stuff here if we don't have a valid file. There, now we, we navigated back in the history, and that means it executed this stuff here. Um, found Sommarbrygge here, uh, and also changed the current wall. But this also, it also adds uh, this wallpaper now to the history. So if we try to go back here, now it went back in the history, because this was the last wallpaper, the previous one, and this is the previous one. And this means we can never change, go further back than one wallpaper in the history. That's not exactly what we want, right? Uh, and you get it. When I change here to Soma Brygge, now that is the top of the history. And if I change again, now best org is the top, and so on. So we don't want to add wallpapers to the history if, uh, if uh, we are navigating in the history file, or in the history like this. We can test here if previous plus o next is more than one or more than zero meaning that if one or more of these are set to one uh, then we don't add anything to the history and now i think we will be able to to go further back in the history here now we go to best org and then we are here in the history do it again, we should see pineapple tile, and it seems to be working. Abstract baby blue, Windows 95, vice palms, polygon sunrise, pineapple bench, waver, sunny leaves, firewatch clearing, lagoon, and table cat. No such wallpaper, because now we reach the end of the list. And at this point, what I want to happen is just go back to the top. And print the first item in the list. So, so we, do, we we can just add that here now. Um, so we need to, to store the first uh, uh, the first line. We can do that by just testing if the current line number is one, then uh, first line is equal to dollar zero. So to do this right, it's cleaner. And then we can do a test in our end block here, because uh, if we don't have any any found, if found uh, variable is empty here, <coughs> then then we just print first line. So if found, maybe this can be written in a different way, but we do it like this. This else print first line so now we are in the history we are a table cat previous soma brygge best org it works we are navigating backwards and forward or only backwards uh, 
let's see if we can think of any edge cases here. If there is only one uh, uh, one wallpaper in the history file, then it, then it will kind of work. Then it will print the first line, probably. Uh, but if the history file doesn't exist at all, then we might get uh, uh, problems here. Mm. Yeah, and we should test that here then. If file exists, history, then we do this awk loop or awk script thing here. Else, I guess we can print the kernel, the same wallpaper as we already have. Phi. Yeah, that's also. When we set wall here, now we just test for illegal wallpapers. But uh, if target is the same as the current wall, maybe no, then we still set it because it doesn't mean that it is whatever, whatever. Thinking out loud, I think we, 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 we stay where we are now and uh, So let's remove the history file. Let's see, just test this. And go previous now. Line 17. Ah. Should have echo waiver here. There. No, it didn't. Create the history, right? No, it doesn't. It doesn't create the history because we are navigating uh, previous here. And then it doesn't add anything to the history. So, so we will never have a history file here. And that's fine. That doesn't, uh, it, it, it's fine. And if we do a random. Yeah, that's also true. If we do random now, it will create the hi history, but it will only contain this. It will not contain the previous one. If the yeah, that's also like a weird edge case. Uh, but let's let's not dig into that now. It's also not that important. Here also history for reading. Uh, yeah, here we have another place. Uh, add to history. It's also sensitive about the history not existing. But I thought we had um, hmm. Okay, okay, wait, wait, random. Get wall, set wall, and history. Ah, I thought we did that, but okay. Here also, um, if file exists, yeah, we don't need the quotes history, then do this stuff. We create the history file. Echo name to history. File. Okay, remove the history file. Random. Don't get any errors. It creates the history file. Great, great, great. And now history file should contain at least two. Yes, and we can go previous here now. Perfect, okay. So we take the, the uh, navigating to the next wallpaper in the next video. Uh, and then we, we are close. Uh, 
would also like them to, to add delete wallpaper and rename wallpaper. There's also another edge case. I guess we can take, maybe we will refactor this history stuff a bit because there are some common uh, things that are, no matter if we go backwards, previous, or we, if we add files, we, we have to make sure the history file exists. And we also have to make sure, at least when we are navigating previous and next, uh, it might happen that uh, there is uh, an entry in the history file that isn't a file in the walls directory. Sometimes even if we if we would manually delete the file here, uh, let's see what do we have in the history file. Yeah, pineapple tile. If I delete this and now try to go previous in history, this could happen. It has happened to me. Of course, now it it doesn't get any fatal errors here. But but then. If we add this delete wallpaper function, that will clean up uh, uh, entries and stuff like that from 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 the list. And now we now it's kind of fine when we have only two wallpapers here. But if we would have more, it would get really strange here. We could never navigate f beyond a point where, with a broken uh, image like this. Uh, I think you get what I mean. There you see, we still have this pineapple tile. And if I add that to somewhere in this list here now and go previous, it will stop at, at the pineapple bench there. You can never go beyond that point. And we have to take care of those things as well. And I think we can add that. Yeah, let's, let's try to do that. Next, delete and clean up uh, in, in the next uh, video. So thank you everyone for watching. Thank you for uh, all the great uh, comments and, and um, improvements we have done here to, to the script. So we, we are on the way of, on creating a, a, a great little wallpaper manager thing. And I don't know when I think about it, I, I, I'm not sure there is anything similar. Or of course there are wallpaper setters and stuff, but this thing, it has become something. And uh, thank you everyone. See you in the next video. Bye.